I can okay so recording has started maybe we can start yes. now yes yes um, this is the um, um, uh, diabetes education uh, program uh, uh, take uh, they did uh, uh, in UK uh, uh, this is uh, the the delivering the diabetes education and self management for ongoing and newly diagnosed diagnosed program for people with newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes they did the cost effective analysis uh, uh, um, the aim is like the, the uh, to assess that, that as, as you know that diabetes is the chronic problem and so they would they like they want to assess the long-term clinical and cost effectiveness of this diabetes education program and and they they, um, they did the cost utility analysis uh, uh, rent, uh, randomized control trials uh, they use the data from um, 12 month trial and also the up beyond the 12 month they also use the Sheffy type 2 diabetes model this model is uh, in, intended to to assess the long term outcomes in terms of uh, using the therapies and then the complication incidents mortality and 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 the quality of life uh, head uh, QA, qaly yeah. so um uh, uh, and then they they did the randomized control trial, and then they have two arms. Uh, one is the control arm, and then one is the intervention arm. And then uh, the, um, the 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 main outcomes they the, the main, main outcome measures is QALY uh, uh, adjusted life years gain. Uh -huh. And yes, and then. Um, the, so the the methods they use is the the method they use is uh, like um, uh, the, the because the, the diabetes is the life uh, they need the uh, patient as soon as the, they implement the program uh, as soon as they diagnose the patient with diabetes type two diabetes. They start the uh, um, uh, education program uh, after uh, uh, after the diagnosis, and then they give the lifestyle advice on diet and exercise. And uh, this is the uh, 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 this is the which is the first line management of the diabetes, together with the drugs uh, like metformin and then the other. So, uh, so but. But they, they realize that patients are very difficult to uh, uh, implement the uh, implement uh, like the to follow the doctor's advice on diet and then so they 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 try to deliver the education program to the patient and and, the, and so the, this is the, the the main aim of the study. And then they want to check the cost effectiveness and uh, cost effectiveness of this intervention program. And then the methods they use is uh, uh, like uh, as I have told you before, like is a 12-month uh, trial result. And then they, 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 uh, they, it, it will not be the uh, it will not be um, appropriate uh, by assessing only the 12 months one-year trial. So after that, they also uh, use the um, um, uh, they, they incorporate it into the Sheffield type 2 diabetes uh, long-term model of the diabetes and then they also check the uh, smoking and then weight and then hemoglobin A1c uh, which is the uh, long uh, which is the assessing the control of the diabetes and then so and also they also check the uh, comorbidities like cardiovascular disease uh, retinopathy, neuropathy, and renal complication as well. And they also calculated the cost of this Desmond intervention uh, uh, by using the, uh, uh, not only in the intervention, also for the real world cost. Uh, 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 they use the hypothetical, um, uh, hypothetical primary care trust 
with the average population of 329,000 and nearly 329 patients, 29,000 patients. Uh, uh, also, they assume to give the total of 56 Desmond courses, and then they they plan to um, uh, get with the three educators, and then average 10 patients per And they also give the information information regarding the cost of Desmond intervention intervention uh, a total cost estimated cost and then uh, and then and they also calculate the uh, unit cost relating for the long-term complications and also the uh, they also check the uh, and, and the other trial cost uh, also and also they also give the um, uh, not only the 12 months trial, and, but also for the uh, uh, long-term mortality cost as well. And, uh, and also they did the sens uh, uh, sensitivity, uncertainty and sensitivity analysis. And for the for the drug use, they uh, for the drug use they use the references from the. Um, uh, um, um, uh, references uh, from the uh, pharmacological uh, committee from the, uh, um, um, the they have uh, uh, the, the, they use the data from the, the pharmacological uh, that the, they have the association um, recommended by uh, 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 recognized by the uh, the healthcare trust and also uh, they also check the weight and the smoking status after the intervention uh, between the intervention uh, intervention group and the control group, and also the they also uh, assess the health quality, uh, health related quality of life by using the, um, uh, the questionnaires and then five dimensions of health like mobility, self care usual activities, pain and discomfort, and anxiety and depression. By using these data, uh, uh, data uh, they, 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 they check the, uh, they assess the quality of life. And, and the, um, the main, um, and the main results they got is the, um, um, by using the, um, Desmond program up to 12 months in the trial, the mean cluster adjusted gain in PALY is 0 0.0070, which is equivalent to the average gain in 2.55 2.55 days of perfect health per person over the year. And this is for the trial. And then after the end of the trial 12 months, the fall to the remaining lifetime, they also estimated the the QALY long term gain in QALY is 0 0.0322. So, um, so total by using the Desmond intervention, the total QALY per patient is 0 0.0392, which is equivalent to the um, uh, average gain of 40.2 days uh, <coughs> of perfect heart per person over their lifetime. And so the cost for the, uh, the, the, the the estimated incremental cost for QLY gain is 5,387 uh, 5, pounds using the trial. And then real world cost, by using that, they also use the real world cost. And the real world cost is 2,092 pounds. Um, and so uh, this is their findings, and then, but uh, for uh, they uh, they also admitted that their study has the strengths and limitation. The limitation of the study is that they use the only uh, one center. It's not the uh, multi site trial. It is the one center trial, and so um, the the result can cannot be uh, representative. Uh, um, uh, compared to the large Martin site trial, and 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 another thing is like QALY gain, 
by the their adjustment intervention is uh, is there is little compared to the other um, other intervention uh, interventions not for the diabetes and then education program they mentioned for the other uh, like uh, investigation uh, some for example like a uh, uh, vaccine or something like the the, the the cost is very small and then but the, uh, the effectiveness the the the, the, the PALY gain by the patient is, uh, is for this uh, small low cost intervention it is uh, satisfactory they insist upon and then the uh, they also uh, uh, mentioned that the, 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 it will be more uh, um, uh, more beneficial if they can uh, expand the program and by uh, doing the study by using the uh, uh, involving the multi centers like uh, several centers um, not only there are only one center and also the um, and yes, and then another one is the the, the um, uh, so that that if they never uh, the uncertainty around the because because they also admitted that the smoking and the uh, the, uh, the uh, weight gain they check uh, is very beneficial because the smoking and then weight is a uh, main um, uh, major contributing factors for the uh, for the uh, long term complications of the diabetes and so their program can uh, reduce the um, smoking and the weight gain uh, and so they, they said their their, their intervention is very uh, um, uh, the intervention is a, 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 a cost effective and also the benefit, uh, the effectiveness is, is, um, is, um, is um, sustained, we said. Um, mm -hmm. and, and last one is last, but, the, uh, but, but I think the use of PALY um, um, according to the the, the, the text uh, uh, that you sent to me, that the, the PTT that that textbook, um, the limitation the um, the QALY using the quality adjusted life ratio, this QALY using can be um, uh, because they did the randomized control trial, and so they they, they have the um, like uh, who, who, who speak, the, the choice of the patient is uh, may not be unfair who is um, uh, who has to be who has to put in uh, um, using the uh, who has to put in the uh, intervention and who has to um, put in the uh, um, control group uh, may raise the issue of uh, values and the morality but um, but I and 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 also um, the the methodological difficulties like um, uh, uh, the, the um, associating with measuring the cost and benefits uh, maybe um, the accuracy of this um, uh, individual in, uh, accuracy of these studies. Um, maybe some there may be some methodological difficulties because in measuring the cost and benefits it can be different from one center to the other center and then so uh, so this can be the, uh, the the limitations for this study and but but the RCT is the as far as uh, the RCT RCT is the although there is uh, some limit uh, sorry because uh, yes. Yes, Rafael? Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. I think my connection died. So it's working now. Okay. Um, as, however, they use the QALY data outcome. 
the uh, uh, there must be the uh, issue of uh, um, uh, values and ethics and morals. But um, but uh, they used the, um, the, the, they used the, they, they, they did the randomized control trial, and so the randomized control trial is the best for the cost effectiveness analysis, uh, and so uh, for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, I mean, uh, I, I have seen there are different uh, guidelines for reporting the cost effectiveness uh, analysis done uh, when uh, they are part of a randomized control trial. Uh, I mean, there are different guidelines. So, as you mentioned, like, uh, mm, I mean, several things can be different in an RCT uh, when it comes to finding the cost uh, for several things as well as uh, qualities when, when the data is collected from patients uh, yes. because uh, they are well-planned and to some extent, they may not really represent the real world scenario, as you also mentioned. And uh, yes, I agree that uh, that could be uh, one of the major uh, limitations. Uh, but uh, when they do a sensitivity analysis, um, I'm sure they will take range of these uh, probability values and even the outcome values uh, or I'm, I mean I'm just seeing whether you can change this uh, outcome values as well uh, while doing the sensitivity analysis. So if you can do that I think you you can try and see whether uh, the final conclusion uh, about uh, uh, which intervention uh, is uh, beneficial in terms of uh, qualities gained and the corresponding cost. Yes. So I'm just trying to read their uh, sensitivity analysis. They, mm -hmm. they also did the, they did the sensitivity analysis by uh, and also set the trial and the real war is uh, they keep the graph. Uh, in page uh, mm -hmm. 6 of 10, okay. post effectiveness acceptability cards. They did that. A page uh, six page of six. 6 of 10. Okay, you mean figure 1? No. The graph, yes. Hello? Yeah, you are, you, hello Rafael, you are there? Yes, I'm here, yes. Yeah, so uh, when you are referring to figure 1? Yes, figure 1. Okay, let's try to understand. So they, they argue that they are, they are, um, we, they are, uh, mm. result is uh, within the acceptability range uh, when compared to the real war cost and then they, they did the graph for that. Okay, so no, so here they, uh, so here in this graph as I understand, uh, they have just uh, produced I think uh, the uh, uh, extrapolated real world scenario maybe, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it, it I mean, uh, so they must have just, they have their trial data. Uh, in which some of the cost may be borne by the investigator, but yes. when in real world uh, that cost may be borne by patient. So yes. uh, considering those differences, uh, they might have produced uh, this uh, uh, graph and uh, trying to show that it wouldn't matter much. Mm. Uh, yes. Okay, and yeah, I mean, Okay, what I was thinking like if they can uh, do this in the sensitivity analysis itself. 
taking different uh, ranges and then uh, so for example uh, if their uh, trial found say uh, 2000 pound for uh, the uh, control mm. uh, in sensitivity analysis if they can increase that to say 8000 pounds and see yes. what happens yes. to the final conclusion whether it is it still holds the same or it changes yes mm. so uh, that was uh, one thing which was uh, they use the proper yes this one the probabilistic sensitivity analysis were using the trial and real world cost for delivering the Desmond program they, they did like that mm, okay I think then they might have uh, covered it already but you are right I mean again for a quality adjusted life I uh, really uh, think that it it should be quite uh, different in real world than the patients in the trial. So, a real world scenario uh, might be uh, different. But, yes, interesting uh, study. So, finally, what they say is that uh, even though uh, Desmond program uh, has uh, not very significantly uh, higher gains, uh, it yes. has satisfactory gains uh, yes. and lower cost, right? Yes, and cost is very low for compared to the other like vaccine or the other uh, new drugs or something like this kind of program like compared to these, compared to those uh, the Desmond program is the low cost. Okay, so I mean uh, when it comes to uh, real life practice with this study, uh, they are probably uh, trying to say that whenever any diabetic patient comes and you have to uh, provide some interventions and you are in dilemma whether you should give exercise, you should give medicine and how you should monitor them that time, they suggest that the Eshman program might be uh, satisfactory from patient's perspective and also yes. low cost, correct? Low cost, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And their, their finding is the estimated incremental cost per quality gain is uh, uh, 5,387 pounds using the trial cost and then 2,092 pounds using the war cost. So, and then the, the life quality gain is they use the two measure, main is quality, but the other one is the uh, incremental cost as well. So, main is like uh, the quality gain is 14.2 days, 14.2 days of perfect health per person over their lifetime. Okay, okay. I think I, I have not read much, but whatever little bit I have read about incremental cost effectiveness ratio yes. is yes. Uh, the uh, figure uh, or the number which is drawn considering uh, quality adjusted life years and cost. Cost, yes. Yes, so whenever in your uh, decision analysis you yes. have uh, the uh, outcome which is say uh, qualities and oh. you also have a uh, cost factor in your decision cost. tree, yes. Uh, yes. you derive another value combining both of these and this mm. is incremental cost effectiveness ratio. Yes. And then you input this uh, as your outcome value and then yes. uh, calculate decision tree backward to see which option is better. Yes. But the, uh, they did the only discounted, discounted uh, uh, cost. As, but uh, it is not much. Uh, difference is only the uh, they also use the um, um, uh, difference. Uh, uh, the the results of the economic uh, the the um, uh, inflation. The month. Yes. Yes. 
and then in control arm is uh, 15,000 pounds, nearly 15,836 uh, 15,836 power uh, intervention and control it is in control arm in, in intervention arm is 15,826 so different is just 10 pounds they, they said it is uh, like a discounted um, mm -hmm. uh, price yeah I think we will have this uh, one more session with Rafael he, he went over that chapter 12 from Petiti book very nicely and it had yes. uh, some of these terms like inflation, discounted yes. rates and yes. all and it would be really uh, uh, good to hear him again so that uh, yes. we get acquainted with these terms better. Yes, yes. probably I'm going to present again next Sunday. Yes, for Monday. Monday for us, when? Uh, oh, okay. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, okay, okay. Mm, so maybe we will understand. But basically what I understand is uh, discounted rates are... I mean, usually people consider around 3% to 5% uh, uh, discounted uh, rates. Yes. And... Yes. I mean, those are in case if you do do not have actual figures uh, how economy has changed in the given region over a time period that we are considering. <coughs> Sorry, but otherwise, people suggest that around three to five percent you can uh, consider uh, as a general or standard thing. Yeah, like like a discount ratio, right? I. Uh, yeah, a discount rate. I mean, when we say three to five percent, you uh, uh, consider the period, and accordingly you increase or decrease uh, the value in exactly. your yeah sensitivity analysis. Yeah. Mm, uh, this one is they they mentioned actually uh, the presentation. They they give the reason for choice as uh, so a perspective of the analysis. They give the cost data. They give and then discounted rate. But for discounted rate, they calculate only like that and then not mention widely. And so and just say it's like um, um, uh, they they all, that so for the <clears throat> so this is uh, just a maybe a little bit limitation of their study. I, I like. Uh, yeah, the they don't. Rate, they did not mention. They just mentioned like that, yes. Agree. I mean, that too they mention, I think, only in the result section. Uh, mm. Not They do not give in the method section as to how they uh, have done, like, discounting. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, so that should be uh, mentioned so that it can be uh, reproduced. Yeah, but otherwise, I think it was a uh, good uh, paper. I mean, I yes. RCT, it is, uh, then it is, I feel it is a little straightforward because you have planned the study and you have all included data in that. So, these, yes. uh, this is a little different uh, than uh, what we might be interested in doing based on the available literature. Uh, where you have to really uh, dig the literature uh, and review it from several uh, angles as to the population uh, is of a, the one which you are interested yes. in and and what they report and then there are different uh, ways of reporting and different values reported and then yes. from among them you have to select the value which is most close to uh, your uh, research question and your area and and then include rest values in the sensitivity analysis and so on. Yes, yes. Mm. yes. Yeah, but it is uh, a really good yeah. presentation. Uh, Rafael, you have any? Thank you. Yeah. No, I just would like to thank Wayne. Very well done yes. presentation. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm um, also looking forward to uh, to, uh, to listen to the discussion from uh, the chapter 12. Mm. I'm sorry? Looking forward for the discuss discussion, our discussion for chapter 12. <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I miss it because I went to Bangkok and then at that time I don't have that really I cannot get to online. <laughs> no, no problem. That's all right. Yeah. 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 So uh, just to let you guys know, I from I, again uh, I have tried recording it today also and I will try to record uh, our subsequent discussions as well and. Uh, then I, I will share with you once uh, I've done that, and let's see yes. how it goes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Anything That's all right. Else? Yeah. Anything okay. else? Thank, thanks, Timbo, and thanks, uh, Rafa. Yeah. Yes. You're welcome. Okay. Then, uh, Rafael and we we are discussing after some time, but otherwise we meet next week. Exactly. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Good morning for you. Yeah. Good night to you, Rafael. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye.